Fracking is a short name for hydraulic fracturing, a technique used to extract natural gas called methane from deep underground. A lot of people in many countries around the world are campaigning against fracking because of the d damage to it causes to the environment. Underground natural gas is found in a rock called shale. Shale rock is in layers like slate and the gas is trapped between the layers. It takes a lot of pressure to release this gas. Wells are drilled down to the level of shale, maybe a mile or more, and then the drills go a mile horizontally through the shale. Thousands of wells can be drilled where the, where the gas is produced. Millions of gallons of water, sand and chemicals, a mixture called fracking fluid, is pumped into each well at enormous pressures. This is like an explosion which cracks open the shale and releases the gas. The industry says that this is safe because a layer of rock lies above the shale and nothing gets through except the gas, which comes out of the well and can be used as a clean energy source. In fact, all sorts of things can happen. Underground, if the well wall cracks during fracking, liquid or gas can escape, travel through cracks in the earth and contaminate your water supplies. Up to 40% of the flack, fracking fluid, millions of gallons, comes back up from the well, mixed with other nasties from below. Heavy metals, petroleum chemicals and radioactive elements. This is very toxic and has to be stored and then cleaned up. In Ireland, we don't have treatment plants that can handle this volume and mixture of chemicals. Accidents can happen. At the well, there can be big spillages. Tanks can leak. Transport lorries, lorries can overturn. Spillages can contaminate our rivers, lakes and water supplies. Gas can and does escape from the wells into the air. In the meantime, all these wells and mining sites or pads are changing our landscape. In gas production areas, there are large five acre concrete pads with wells every two miles across the land, with roads and gas pipes connecting them. It takes thousands of trucks to construct and operate each pad. The volume and noise of traffic is huge. All the machinery used during fracking causes smog and fumes to pollute the air. A quiet and beautiful rural area is turned into a heavy industrialised zone. For the community there are many dangers, especially for people's health. Smog and fumes cause asthma and other lung diseases in children. Older people can get sick. Everyone suffers from stress and worry, especially about contamination of our air and our water. Fracking is a problem for the whole country, not just a couple of rural areas in the west. Dublin will need the Shannon as its water supply in the future. If the Shannon Basin is contaminated, what will Dublin people do without drinking water? If fracking is allowed into Ireland, it could cause huge damage to our reputation as a country with a clean environment. Our tourism industry would suffer. Who wants to come to an area where the water supply could be contaminated and our air polluted? If chemicals such as benzene, which is found in wastewater and polluted air, get into the food chain, animals could be contaminated. If one sample of our meat is found to contain benzene, that would be disastrous for our agricultural industry, worth 8 billion euro last year. If one sample of cow's milk is found to contain benzene, that would be the end of our infant formula industry, and 80% of our milk goes to make infant formula. So, what can you do? Talk about fracking. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to the people you work with, the people you play with, the people you respect. Get information from the internet. Look out for meetings. Call for the government to ban fracking in Ireland, now. Write to your politicians. Write to your government. Put pressure on those who make the big decisions. Don't, Don't let it happen. Ban fracking. Protect, protect our future. Credits. Created by artist Brigitte Vardy. In collaboration with Abby Sweeney, Leah Sweeney and Dr. Aideen McLaughlin and Janice Daly.